Hello everyone, I'm Susanna. Welcome back to my channel. This is a requested video. Uh, it's very long time ago, a half a year or so. And I'm now it's getting cooler and cooler day by day. So I'm going to start this project for the autumn or end of the summer or spring. So it's between seasons and uh, you can download this pattern oh, in the description box below, down below, so you can find the link to there and please download this pattern with you and please proceed this proce uh, project with me. And um, actually, this is a pineapple pattern poncho, and this is a you know a very beautiful pattern with open work. And the design by Shelly White and the skill level is experienced. And I think this is quite a very tough project because we need to uh, follow every law. Every law has uh, every, you know, sentence and every procedure. But I would like to omit it and make it simple, more simple and more easy to follow and easy to arrange. Okay, so... Uh, Let's talk about it. So the what you need is a red hot sparkle soft yarn. I, I think this is or maybe it's continued. So you can use the not category four medium yarn. Let how sparkle soft is uh, four ounce is two hundred eight yard or four ounce is uh, one hundred ninety meters long. Okay and. Then we need six balls, so it means 24 ohms and 1,248 yards or nearly six 700 grams and 1,140 meters long. So please prepare uh, the suitable yarn with you. And the crochet hook is 5.5 USI 9. Or you can use or you know sub or you can use the alternate yarn with the same size or smaller size like my sample. I I did the how to crochet this pattern without increasing in spring. So and this is a smaller yarn and smaller hook size and the size is smaller than the actual poncho. But if you prefer small or uh, slimmer yarn and smaller hook, you can do it because I would like to in uh, I'm going to introduce and I'm going to explain how to do it. So in this case, you need less grams or same grams, but longer yarn. So, and also you need a smaller hook, smaller hook. And uh, maybe you need four stitch markers and yarn needles, but I, I'm not sure right now, but I think the markers is very helpful to uh, follow the steps. The gauge of this pattern is single crochet, 12 stitches, and 15 rows. And in my sample, is uh, this is more stitches than this project. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 stitches. And uh, low is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 lows of double crochet. It means 18 lows in single crochet, uh, approximately the same because that is a double of size of the single crochet in my hand. So, this is smaller as you can see, and uh, you can you can do larger or smaller. I'm going to explain and I'm going to arrange this pattern more easier and easy to follow okay and so the first of all i would like to mention about how to or uh, how it is structured this is a uh, this is not a square but it's kind of a square shape and they open in the center and the center opening is approximately 85 centimeters i mean here because we are going to add leaf later on so this is the uh Opening is 85 centimeters, but in my body that is too l large, so I would like to uh, make it smaller. 
some would like to make it larger and some would like to make smaller right so this is just our uh guideline so the the pattern recommends 85 centimeters fits most of people so one size fits most it means some for some people are too large and for some people are too small so if you would like to make to fit your body you need to uh you need to recalculate or arrange it and this is a square shape because we need or oh, we are going to increase in four points so increase here and here and here 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 so as you can see there is one two three so this is a point when we uh, usually we going to just two but we when you crochet we need we need increase we need to or increase in three okay and also this has our you know, some straight line and some increasing line as you can see here maybe this one better to identify how i'm what i'm talking about and this is increasing line and increasing point is here and this is a not increasing straight line and the straight line i i introduced how to crochet in this point but i uh, in my in my pattern i have only one but here you can see there are two but this is a kind of issue because i did it in even number and multiples of 10 rows so it means if i increase every fifth every six rows so it means divide into half five and five so make five and then increase at the next row so that it is can be uh you know continuous continuously without any effort but this this is a uh, eight uneven number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven is a very difficult number to increase evenly and also uh increasing here and i'm not sure this is a good point to increase or not so and also this finish at uh, nearly most of the end of the pineapple but here there there are some different stitches and here also different stitches so in this case i think uh if i increase uh in the same point and uh, so maybe we are going to increase maybe here or somewhere to fit uh, the position to make evenly so this is just a guideline i, I need uh, i think i need to or i might i need to or adjust the number later on so just i i wrote down but i'm not sure this is correct or not so please ignore that right now but for the summary i need to increase from the half of the point so in this case in my part is uh, starting from the no line so from here so one two three four five here and here is the increasing point or uh, maybe here or here to make uh, the same pineapple so i needed to focus on it because otherwise you can crochet here slightly but you needed to or some you need to different stitches and some you need to increase here so many stitches and then you know mixed in the one pattern that is very complicated it is very difficult for you to understand how to make it maybe this is better and this is nice a better shape to wear it so if you prefer exactly this pattern please follow this pattern and pick up the words and please crochet this is just a, a you know the sample and some you know reference so uh you can you can catch up some uh, tips from this pattern or this tutorial video but if if you are worried about it is too complicated please follow my route so it's much easier okay 
And also the length is 63.5 centimeters long. It is or 25 inches. If you want to more length, please increase. And if you less, please finish at any point you want. So in this pattern, I don't make any finishing finishing design just continuously or the same design so you can finish at any point maybe you will feel or maybe you will have to you have to finish in between this pattern but it is uh it is a uh, you know a weak point of my pattern but everyone can continue the same as the same manner as i do in any sizes or any length so it, uh, you can make uh, for your family members, even they have the different sizes. Just you can do according to the size. So the first, you need to uh, determine how many stitches, right? So in this pattern, the straight line is one, two, three. So I'm going to show you. One, two, three straight lines and one increasing line. So here now four and here now five. But anyway, starting is one, two, three, four. But if you need less, you can decrease to two. Or if you want more, you can increase to four or five or six according to you. So I did it. Uh, I numbered it. It is X. X means maybe you need three or four or five or six in between increasing line i mean this line is increased this is the fourth line and this is also fourth line and in between there are one two three or four or two or five or six it is according to your size and this is divided into one two three four position uh, four sections so when you calculate x means two or three or four or five anywhere in between these increasing line plus one the one is increasing line here and if you need need three and four so the four and eight times is started two and we need one two three four four sections so we need four more times so 32 and four times is 128 so example for example three plus one is four by uh, an eight time times eight is 32 and four times is 128 128 so we'll need 128 chains to make as a foundation chains so and this is the 885 centimeters approximately right because there is a, a 12 128 stitches divided into 12 oh I'm sorry, I, I made a mistake. So 107 centimeters, so nearly, uh, whoa, how many? Nearly one yard, more than one yard. So if you, if you feel it is too large, you need to decrease the stitches. And let's talk about the leaf earlier. So we are going to add the leaving later on. Okay. So, we need crochet in the vertically and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And we, we are going to make almost six centimeters height or two inches and a quarter of the height of the living area. And how many, how large of the circumference is? That is the foundation chain. So, 128 rows you need to make this living rib part so and this is a little bit smaller so maybe the 107 centimeters is less less than 107 so nearly this is nearly 85 or something 
But if you feel still large, please decrease the stitches or smaller or hook or, you know, please adjust it. Okay? But anyway, we need to, uh, we need to make the multiples of 32 stitches. So this pattern, the foundation chain is multiples of 32 stitches. Okay, so this is the point. All right, so if you have multiples of 32 stitches, everything will go all right. Okay, all right, so let's grab the yarn and hook and let's start to crochet. Okay, so let's get start. Start it and make a slip knot. After making a slip knot, make one, two, three, four. And I'm going to make 64 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty like so so and we needed to make a ring so in this case i prefer to pick the first stitch from the long side so this is the light side inside from the long side and back to the stitch and continue 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31, and 32, like so. Okay, I made 64 stitches after making 64 stitches. Pull through. Okay, let's start. Chain one. After making a chain one into the last chain here, Make a single crochet and chain two count as a double and make a chain for the one chain one space. Skip the next chain into the next chain. Make a double crochet, chain one, skip one into the next chain double chain one skip one and next chain double chain one so please repeat chain one Double chain one, skip double chain one, skip something wrong. Double chain one and leave it to the end. And the last skip one into the stitch, double crochet, chain one, and join into the third chain. One, two, three here and join. 
and this is the first round and make double chain one spaces evenly and uh, it's going to be the half double crochet of the foundation chains and half number of the chain one space of the foundation or uh, fun half number of the foundation chains of the chain one space and this end means oops this end means starting and ending of the row and move it to the second round and we are going to make a pattern Okay, move it to the second round and starting with five chains count as a double crochet and chain two so one two three four five and back to the same stitch make double crochet and one more double crochet into the same stitch So this is the uh, second of double crochet, chain to space and two double crochet. It is a part of a shell. And then chain two. And skip next DC and into the next DC here. double crochet and chain two okay then skip next DC and into the next DC make a shell so make two doubles one two doubles and one two chains and back to the same stitch make two doubles chain two skip next DC and into the next DC make a DC chain two skip next DC and into the next DC Two double chain two and two double shell. So I'm going to call it a shell. So after making a shell, chain two and skip DC and into the next DC double chain two skip next dc and into the next dc make a shell chain two one two and chain two so repeat like this And the last two chains and back to the first stitch we started and make a double crochet and join into one two three the third chain and finish so now we can start from this our uh, corner so we I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shell and eight double crochet, and we are going to mark it for the corner. Okay. So let's start the third round. Now second double crochet and slip stitch into the chain to space. And make one, two, three, four, five chains. Count.
count as a double and chain to space and into the chain to space of the shell and make two more doubles to complete the shell and uh, we are going to make one more double crochet at the last of, of at the end of this round and join into the third round okay after making a shell make one two three chains and into the double crochet make a double crochet one two three chains into the shell make a shell again so one two doubles one two chains and back to the space and make two more doubles and make three chains one two three and double one two three and into the shell make a shell two doubles chain two two doubles one two three chains and into the double crochet make a double crochet one two three chains and repeat so repeat to the end okay lastly make one two three chains and into the first space and make one more double crochet and into the third chain and join so let's mark this is the corner and skip one or two or three or four or five shells as you made the foundation chains and then mark the next corner and skip and mark the next corner again so mark four corners and here so these four corners are going to increase as I mentioned and here is straight line so we need to concentrate where we increase where follow the pattern okay move to the uh, round fold okay so move it to the low fold and slip stitch to the next space and okay one more time all right start with five chains one two three Sorry, my cat 
four, five. And into the same space, make one more double crochet, uh, two more double crochet. So always start with like this. Chain five count as a double and chain two and two doubles. Chain two and into the double crochet make a V stitch. So V stitch double crochet chain two and back to the same stitch and make a double crochet. So into the double crochet, we are going to make a V stitch. V stitch, V stitch, V stitch. Okay. And chain two, one, two. And into the next shell, make a shell. So always make shells over the shell. So the shell is shell and the, this double crochet is the pineapple line and this is a shell line. So always are separated. So when you com uh, concentrate the pineapple, just concentrate this area. And here is always shell, straight. That's this line, always shell. And this is a, a pineapple area. And here is increasing, so always concentrate increasing on this marked area. Okay? So what's next? You can see the double crochet here. So we need to make V stitch, two chains, and into the double crochet, make a double crochet, one, two, and back to the same stitch, make a double crochet, and chain two and here is the corner but we don't increase yet so just make a shell one two chain two and double chain two and back to the same stitch make a V stitch and chain two okay so let's repeat to the end of this round okay so next is round five and i'm going to explain and how to crochet this endlessly uh, increasable pineapple pattern so this is how i explain so we uh, we had only one here but now we have two here and we have one one two three here and one two three four here so we can increase or uh, endlessly as you like okay so i'm going to explain how to do it all right so let's crochet round five first slip stitch into the next stitch slip stitch into the next space and starting with five chains one two three four five and make two more double crochet to make our part of a shell okay then one two chains 
and skip these two chains and into the V stitch here, make five doubles. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two chains, and into the shell, make a shell. So always make a shell into a shell, except our uh, increasing point. The increasing point oh, is a tricky point, so I'm going to focus on the increasing point after explaining how to crochet this pineapple pattern. Okay, then you can see the V stitch here again. So one, two chains, and one, two, three, four, five doubles, and one, two chains. And this is the corner, and but we don't increase yet. So, two chains, uh, two doubles, two chains, and two doubles. Okay? So repeat like this, and uh, as you can recognize, we started from five chains, so make one more doubles and join to the third chain, and keep, leave the two chain two space. Okay? Okay, finish the fifth round, and move it to the sixth round. The sixth round is the most important round in this pattern, and uh, I'm going to explain why. So now you see the row 6, 11, 16, 21. This is the increasing rows, so round, increasing rounds. So you need to pay attention to these rounds, so every fifth round. Okay, and uh, but there is a landmark or hint when you crochet okay so do you remember we crocheted five doubles this is the most uh, important landmark or hint when you crochet five doubles in v stitch it is a sign to increase in the next round so whenever you increase five doubles in any part you need to increase the next round okay so I'm going to how to increase. The increase is always are at the corner that I explained in the briefing. briefing. And here is the illustration I explained and you see this one to three points and one to three points here. So it is the sign to, uh, to increase. So like this, we increase in both ways. Okay, so I'm going to explain how to do it. It is not not complicated at all. All right, so move to the uh, next stitch with a slip stitch and move to the space with a slip stitch. So now the yarn is in the center of chain two space of the center line. So always this shell is the center line and we need to make two more, two more here. Okay, anyway, we need to make one, two, three, four, five doubles, and make two more doubles in the same space. One, two chains, and back to the same space, and two more doubles. But uh, this is the part of the increasing shell, so. Now we have two chain two spaces and we are going to make three that I showed you the illustration. Okay, next chain one and into the double crochet, make a double crochet and chain one into the next double crochet, 
make a double crochet and chain one into the next double crochet make a double crochet and chain one so repeat like this and make a five doubles with chain one spaces like so and after that make a chain and into the next shell and this shell doesn't have a marker so we don't increase we just increase four corners only so mostly we don't increase next chain one and you see the five doubles so make five doubles with a chain one space chain one chain one chain one chain one chain one and a chain so here is the corner this is the second corner and the first time of i explain how to crochet the corner shell okay two doubles chain two two doubles chain two two doubles and we have two spaces so we need one more so chain two and two doubles so we are going to make our four two doubles and three chain two space okay and then repeat chain one and double and chain one and double and chain one okay so like this this is the side and these are the corners and we have two more corners here and here and the last we need to make one more space so make Two more doubles, chain two, and one more double, and one, two, three, into the third chain, slip stitch to join. And this is the row six, and we increased here. So we have one one two three spaces so one two three spaces in every corner like this and like this and like this and like this okay and there also This chain to space is the straight line, so always same straight line. And this chain to space is going to be the side, like this. So this is going to be this way, like this. And this chain to space going to be like this, this way and this way. So that you can increase parallelly or so parallel increase now only two and next is four you know because automatically we have two here so we increase two to four and four to six six to eight eight to ten like that so you can increase like so and okay so move to round seven let's crochet round seven 
slip stitch to next stitch, slip stitch to next space, and this is the center line as I told you. So start with five chains. Two more doubles in the same space. One, two. Okay, next. Chain one. And into the next chain to space, make a shell. One, two, chain two back to the same space one two next there is five doubles and chain one spaces one two three chains Skip the first double crochet into the chain one space, make a single crochet, and one, two, three chains into the next space, make a single crochet, and to make a pineapple, one, two, three into the next space, single, one, two, three into the next single crochet and single and one two three chains and next is a shell so let's make a shell two doubles one two chains one two doubles repeat one two three chains single one two three chains single one two three chains single one two three chains and a single and one two three okay next is the corner so let's do it together make a shell first two doubles chain two and two doubles and chain one the center shell Again, so in every chain to space, make a sh make shell, make every shell, and in be or uh, in between shells, make chain one space. So shell chain one, shell into the chain to space, chain one, shell into the chain to space, and chain one, and here is chain to space so let's make a shell and this two chain one spaces going to be a pineapple again and one two three chains and make a single crochet one two three chains make a single crochet one two three make a single crochet one two three make a single crochet and this is how to crochet the corner so now started with two, dub, uh, two, two doubles, and now one, two, three, four groups of two doubles, and now one, two, three, four, five, six. So two, two, four, 
four, two, six, and here chain one space each. And this is the side. So always shell line is a straight line. So make straight shell line and oh excuse me. And this is a pineapple. So pineapple is in between shell. So here is a shell line. Okay, so let's continue and see you at the end of this row. Okay, let's finish this round. Three chains and make a shell. And a chain and one more double at the beginning space and leave two chains and slip stitch to join okay oh let me move it to the eighth round so what do you think is it beautiful yeah quite beautiful all right next is the eighth row so let's crochet together and now we did our made three set of shell so anyway we are going to move to the center of the chain to space and start with five chains one two three four five and two doubles okay next here there is chain one space so chain one into the chain one space make a double crochet and chain one and make a shell so at the corner we are going to make chain one double chain one in between shells so we are going to make a chain one double chain one here and here and here and here and here and here like this and also our uh, we continue to crochet this pineapple pattern here. So after two shells, we have one, two, three chain, three space. We are going to make three chains and into the first loop, make a single crochet and one, two, three, and into the next space, single one two three into the next space make a single so let's reduce to two spaces from three to two and one two three and make a shell and repeat so in between corners so I mean the side we are going to make our two spaces with three chains at the both ends and make shell so excuse me okay one more time so we made two spaces here two spaces here so you you may have one two three pineapples or four pineapples or two pineapples like like mine so please con uh, make the number you need one two three chains and make two spaces one two three with 
cha sleep chains and one two sleep and sleep ch chains and single crochet and one two sleep and here is the corner so make a shell chain two and make a shell again and chain one and this space double chain one and shell and this is a corner Like this and chain one and this is a first side space makes a double and chain one and this is a new line of the shell so make a shell so two doubles one two chains and make two doubles okay So this is a new line of the straight line and this is also and here we are going to start new pineapple and this is a pineapple and this is a corner line okay okay so I finish nine round uh, eight rounds and move to the ninth round in the next round, we are going to make a V-stitch in the double crochet and we are going to make one loop on the pineapple stitch. Okay, so anyway, start from the center of the chain to space at the, cent at the corner and make one, two, oops, something long. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and make two doubles. And here, chain one. And into the double double one two chains and double and one chain and make two doubles chain two and two doubles again and here one two three four chains and single one two three chains and single and make one loop and one two three four chains and dot and shell so corner shell and v stitch 
and side shell and one space and side shell and repeat okay so after making a shell chain four and one space chain four and shell and chain one and v stitch chain one and shell and chain one and into the double crochet make a double chain two and double and chain one and shell Two, three, four chains and single one, two, three, and single and one, two, three, four chains and shell. Okay, finish to the nice round. And the pineapple pattern is almost finished. And move it to the tenth round. And start with the corner. So, always one slip stitch and one slip stitch again. And one, two, three, four, five. And double. And double. Here there is a double crochet. So chain one and into the V stitch make five doubles do you remember five doubles root what is the five doubles root the five doubles root is uh, the five doubles means we need to increase the next round so not to forget maybe you can move your stitch marker To remind you not here okay here one two three four five and turn one shell so the this pineapple pattern is different from the others I mean the position so this is almost finished and this is just started okay after shell one two three four five chains into the three chain space make a single crochet and one two three four five chains and make a shell chain two two doubles and here again one two three four five 
and into the three chain space single one two three four five and double chain one chain two double chain one and here is a V stitch so make five doubles three four and five and chain one and this is a corner so I'm going to mark it okay so like this and now pineapple pattern is finished and this is new starting okay okay next is round 11 and we are going to increase and now I already moved to the center of the chain to space and start with five chains and back to the same space and make two more doubles two chains and back to the same space make two more double so we made two chain to space and here five double so chain one and into the double make a double chain one into the next space double and chain one next stitch double chain one next stitch double chain one and next stitch double and chain one and into the shell make a shell make a shell chain two And next so I finished the corner and move to the side and this is the new side okay I finished pineapple stitch so let's start once again make 10 chains 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 after making 10 chains into the shell make a shell and let's make a large space like this and here also just finished pineapple pattern so let's make the same thing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten after ten chains make a shell
Now with bead. So like this. And here is a corner and we are going to make a stitch. So chain one and make double and chain one into every double stitch, double crochet, double chain one, double chain one, double chain one, double chain one, and double and chain one. And here is the corner and we have a marker so we are going to increase make four two doubles and three chain two spaces so one two three chain two and four and here double crochet chain one So like this and the corner okay finish 10th round and move to the 12th or uh, 11th round and move to the 12th round this is really you know the repeating procedure so I think this is not complicated anymore so after moving to the center of the space make one two three four five chains how many one two three four five and two more doubles here And here, chain one, make a shell. So this chain one space is going to be the pineapple. chain three, one, two, three, and make us oh, three chain three spaces, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, and one, two, three chains and make a shell And here we are going to make 11, uh, 11 chains 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And into the shell, make a shell. One, two, one, two, and here eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And two doubles, one, two chains, and two doubles. And here again, one, two, three chains, and into the first chain one space, make a single crochet, one, Two, three chains. Into the next chain one space, make a single crochet. One, two, three chains. Into the next space, make a single crochet. One, two, three. Into the last chain one space, make a single crochet. And, and one, two, three. One, two, three. And this one. This is a fast shell, so make a shell because this is going to be the side line like this and chain two and back to the same space double one more double and chain one and the center so this is a center line so this is the center of the center the most important line and shell after making a shell I'll make a chain and uh, make a shell again two chains and two doubles so here she uh, is going to be the new pineapple like this Okay, move on to round 13. Now we have two chains here. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Five chains. Two doubles, one, two, one, chain one here, and after chain one, so two doubles and chain one, and into the chain one space, make a double and chain one, and into the shell, make a shell. So we are going to start pineapple once again here from here. Here is chain three and make two spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
one, two, three, single, and one, two, three. And make a shell first. Okay, here, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Into the six. So this is one. Make a double and one, two, three, four, five, and make a shell. Chain two, and two doubles, and here again, one, two, three, four, five. This is a double crochet, so count from the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five. And into the six. Double. One, two, three, four, five. Chain two. One, two, three, single, one, two, three, single, one, two, three, single, one, two, three, and this is a corner, so I'm going to make one more pineapple on this side. Here is a chain one, so chain one and double and chain one. Once again, chain one into chain one space make a double crochet and chain one So make a double chain one, double chain one, and make two spaces, and make chain five and double chain five, and two spaces, and a corner, and we made double crochet. Alright, so I finished round 13 and move to round 14 and round 14 is the turning point so you will understand everything on this round so I'm gonna finish uh, about this pattern at round 14 so anyway starting with making a shell one two three four five and two doubles okay chain one and in the double crochet so as you know we are going to make a v stitch the v stitch is double chain two double and chain one
make our shell here okay next did you use two one or uh, space so one two three four chains single one two three single one two three four make a shell Okay, here now making second pineapple one, two, three, four, five chains and into the double crochet, make a double crochet, chain two, and V stitch and one, two, three, four. Five chains and into the shell, make a shell. So the, mo so the point is now we have V stitch and V stitch here, and the almost end of the uh, pineapple. Okay, so now this point and this point is the same. And then next, this, this end here is new one is the same. So it's going to be endless. And the double is double and v stitch is v stitch so it should be the same point but i as i told you this pattern doesn't match anything at all so it seems you see it seems this is the same point but actually not so you need to follow the old pattern to complete this pattern. But in my pattern, this V stitch and this V stitch is matching at the same round. And it is, it can be uh, en increased endlessly. So you can continue more and more and more and more. You see, so you can enjoy endlessly with any size of yarn, any size of the hook. So, I that's why I recommend this way, and this is endless way. And the shape might be a uh, you know wider than the pattern, because I started earlier, maybe two rounds earlier. So the shape is a little bit wider at the co here. So if you don't like that, please follow the original pattern. But if you prefer this way, I think this is the most uh, easiest way to uh, form this kind of shape. Okay. I finished low fifteen and uh, low fourteen and low fifth uh, low fifteen and uh, low sixteen is going to be the increase line and uh, so this is the part and if you don't like this line this because this is like a wave line and here is the if you would like to finish here or uh, maybe here or maybe here so the line uh, should be the best point uh, so I'm considering which which uh, row is the best to finish and uh, so one two three four five and if i so 
So is that better? I don't know. So if it is feel it, it, you feel better, you can do that, or maybe you can continue one more round with this one, but without increasing. So that are, uh, or maybe you can increase. So I I don't know where we should end, or oh, or oh, but anyway. So here. <laughs> Yeah, here is, you know, just popping out. So uh, I thought the round 15 is the best point to finish, but it it was long. So please consider which uh, which, low, which round to finish. It is totally up to you. And you can finish any row. So... Maybe next row is a better because we can, uh, we we do we have this line and here this one. And after that, please continue like this. So next is our chain five and chain five here so i'm going to show you one more time low 16. So let me think about or uh, we should increase so no increase anyway i'm going to start with increasing and uh, chain two and two more doubles and here, chain one and chain one, chain one, chain one, chain one, and chain one. And here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And then close. So I think it is good. And this one. One, two, three, four, five. And make double and chain one and double and chain one. But after that, the next round, please make chain three and space as before. So only here, five chains, but you can if you don't like this kind of loose or stitches, you can re reduce the stitches here around here. You can reduce four, three, or four, 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 something like that. Four, four, three, like that. And to keep the shape. So it is totally up to you. So if you don't like to increase, you can finish with this without increasing when you finish. Or you can increase. And here is... Uh, you know, this is all something very better looks 
because this is all you know formed nice shape and here is maybe it's not bad and so I, I guess I guess or uh, 16 or so this is 16 and this is 11 so 11 16 21 26 like that you can finish every fifth round and at the last end or uh, you don't have to increase I, I guess I think you don't have to increase or uh, I, 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 I also I'm gonna I'm not gonna increase on the corner so I'm going to show you how it works here okay all I saw I did it and this is your maybe you can reduce the chains like this or like this so if you feel it is too long you can reduce to form so maybe five or something here also like this so that are so this is just a guideline to continue the pattern and i i, I didn't increase here but actually i follow the original pattern here so uh when you finish maybe you don't have to increase this is my answer you see there quite beautiful ending line and here you can reduce to five or something and uh, here also uh, it is not bad it is not bad but you can reduce to three or something if you feel it is comfortable like this so please continue to the legs you need and then i'm going uh, and finally add, attaching the lip part on the neck area so i'm going to explain about how to add the leaf neck leaf living so let's talk about our ribbing and the rib is uh, six centimeters height two inches and a quarter so actually oh uh, the pattern is actually uh, suggesting seven stitches but if i'm making it is not uh the same size so i'm gonna check how many stitches i need this is 10 the 10 stitches is one and so one one inch is one one two three four five six six and seven so 14 or 14 stitches or something maybe here 10 and 11 so 11 or 12 or 11 or 12 or 3 centimeters how many centimeters or 3 centimeters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 stitches in 3 centimeters and I need our 6 centimeters so it means our 14 stitches okay In this case, attach into any chain one space, not the stitch. I, I think. Oh, let me let me check it. So with light side facing slip stitch in any chain one space on round one. So any chain one space, and this is the yarn, and this is the working yarn. Okay, so from the light side attach the stitch and one two three and i can use this as a stitch so one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen but i need to make one more chain to stand up so one more chain and skip the first chain and in to the second stitch so skip one and next stitch make a single crochet using the upper upper loop sleeve 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and a fourteen, and make fourteen stitches and into the next chain one space, make a slip stitch and chain one. And turn and work. So this is a chain one, and this is a slip stitch. So it does stitch is here, and pick the back loop, and make a single crochet. Pick the back loop. So back loop, single crochet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. 12 and so 13 and 14 and if you prefer the last stitch you can pick both loop end to make a tight stitch and chain one and turn and work Skip the chain one and into the next stitch, make a back loop single crochet again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven, twelve, so thirteen and fourteen, and into the next next chain one space here, pull through and chain one. So skip these two and turn our work. Skip, skip, and into the next stitch, and continue back loop, single crochet. So continue like this to all around. And after coming back, you can finish from the long side with the slip stitches or a back loop single crochet to join. I think I made uh, this kind of uh, this video to how to finish a single crochet living stitches and but I'm not sure so let me check it and if I found it I'm going to leave the link down below or I'm going to make a uh, the other video about focus on the live part So like this, so that you can enjoy the lip part here and into every chain one space to join. And it's very easy to add on after finishing the project. Okay, all right. So this is how to crochet this our pineapple pattern poncho. Uh, this is uh, called poetry poncho. 
downloadable free pattern is linked below in the description box and uh, this is my way to increase or oh, endlessly with effortlessly so i i think this is nice or is it oh uh, i think this is or uh, easier to follow up if and uh, if you are not you know good at good at understanding written pattern i think this is better solution and you can arrange when where you don't like the point so okay and uh, this is the end of this video so i hope you understand and i hope you enjoyed it okay so um i'm going to uh look i'm going to look for the video about the, this part and if i don't found uh, i'm going to make a video to make a lip stitch how to crochet lip stitch and how to join lip stitch with a with a with without seam and how to attach to the some other part so that you can enjoy in many ways okay all right so thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye bye